Brazil was one of my favorite teams to watch growing up. Like, I loved watching Brazil. I still do. And that's why today in FC24, I'm going to be building the best past and present Brazil team. Well, the best for me, like the players I like the most. Now, there is a lot of players that are not going to make this team that I really wanted to, like David Luiz and players like that are just not in the game. But it doesn't matter. We're still going to build a dope Brazil team and see if we can win some games in FC. One thing I need you to know is that, yes, there's going to be a lot of loans. Loan FC, but I got them, so we might as well use them. And also, I got to say, oh, man, I told you, man, I am obsessed with Brazil. I love Brazil. Check it out, man. I got a beautiful sign Neymar jersey for this one absolutely beautiful brazil shirt so some players that are on the bench in the reserves that we might still make the 11 we'll see is garicha carlos alberto rafinha neymarzito gabriel martinelli Rivaldo and Socrates. And as you guys can tell by the thumbnail of the episode, yeah, Neymar is in the team. You're probably like, why is he down there? Well, I'm going to explain in a minute and you'll understand when we get there because the one thing I do want to do is also get full chemistry. If you're new to FC24, every time you add a player into that right position, they'll get little dots beside little squares that they fill up. And if you have them out of position, they have no dots. They have an exclamation point. So you kind of want to get everyone into the right position. But either way, when we get there, we'll talk about it. First player I want to add is my boy Ederson. Now I know instantly this is going to bring up a lot of conversation. First of all, I think one of the greatest Brazilian goalkeepers ever was Julius Cesar and the homie D uh, Dida, I think his name was said. I love those goalkeepers. Um, but Ederson for me is my favorite right now, not Ali Son. Ederson came up through the team that I love, Benfica, and I got to watch him play you for a while at Benfica. So I personally love him. Also, he just won the Champions League. So I thought it would be really nice to have my boy Ederson in the goal position for the Brazil past and present. Next fellow we're going to be adding in is Edder Militao, another player that really, really, really grew in the Portuguese league with FC Porto, the team that I don't like because I'm a Befiquista, but he uh, really grew in Portugal, now plays for Real Madrid, unfortunately took a really bad injury, but he has an awesome card in FC 24 that has crazy awesome speed on it, crazy awesome defending and physical, and a medium high all around, 6'1", he's born in 1998, I paid 600,000 coins for the card, it's a really really nice card and since we went with two players from present time it's time to bring the past in and that's where we're going to go ahead with the one and only big boy lucio one of the greatest hello he disappeared on me bro one of the greatest center backs to ever play our game this guy when he played for inter was a crazy player Un out outstanding center back 62 he comes in high he comes in height of 62 great speed on him good defense good physical all around just a monster IRL and in the game so we're going to bring a little bit of that past in bro so two present players two past players and I think right now we really got to go with the past because unless you're a fan of Alex Tellez or Lodi at the left back position I think you have to go with the one the only Roberto Carlos Real Madrid beast potentially the best left back to ever play the game uh, just an outstanding all-around stud, amazing set left back. Um, I think a lot of y'all would go with him over Alex Tellez or Lodi or anybody else that could really go here because this guy was just crazy for Real Madrid and for Brazil. Coming in with a high high at 5'6", only 5'6", a little bit of a smaller dude, but still an unbelievable beast, yo. Just a monster, crazy left foot, one of the best shots in the game. Matter of fact, talking about height, let me know your height in the comments down below. I am six foot. All right, a lot of people think I'm not six foot, but I I am six foot, okay? So now, give me my inches, bro. I am six foot. Let me know what you guys are down below. The right back position, we're going to stay with the past because, again, left backs and right backs for Brazil, not really the craziest at the moment. Let's be honest with each other. Um, so one thing I will say is Brazil had such a historical past that it's really hard to fit a lot of present players into this team because, I mean, are you going to go with Ronaldinho or are you going to go with Cafu? Are you going to go with Ronaldinho? I mean, not Cafu, or, or Martinelli. Are you going to go with... I guess that's not really fair. Are you going to go with Rodrigo or Martinelli over someone like Garincha or Jarzinho? Are you going to go with Vinny and Neymar over Ronaldinho? I guess it's things you really got to weigh out and go with. But anyways, this is the back line. Roberto Carlos, Edda Militao, Lucio, Cafu, and my boy Ederson. The back line is... I think it's chef kisses, man. Absolutely unbelievable, man. He looks, they, I mean, they just look great. It's a great back line. Let's start getting into the fun part, man, the front. So this is where it gets interesting, right? Because I was going to start Neymar Zito at the right wing position, but he's off chemistry. So the right thing to do, even though I want Neymar on the team, is to either go with Rafinha or Martinelli. 
we have to make a decision of who we would rather have. Personally, I think Martinelli probably right now would go at the right back, right mid position because Rafinha is kind of up and down at Barcelona. Incredible player, kind of up and down. So I'm thinking like Martinelli should go there, but that means that Neymar really wouldn't have a spot on the team. Not because Neymar is not him. Neymar is him. But it's simply down to Ronaldinho who has to take the left mid position. Listen, for me, everyone's going to come at me crazy for what I'm about to say. And I understand I probably shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it. For me, Neymar is the greatest player of all time. But that's he's my GOAT. Not because he's better than Messi and Ronaldo. No. For me, it's because Ronaldinho made me feel a certain way about the sport that no one else has ever made me feel. I remember running home from the school bus to watch Ronaldinho play for Barcelona and just, just be in love with watching him play. I didn't care where he played. I didn't really ever care to watch Barcelona. I was never a Barcelona fan, but watching Ronaldinho brought me some type of joy, some type of happiness that only him and Benfica, my club, do for me, man. Like watching him play just brought me so much happiness. So that's why for me, he's the greatest of all time for me because he impacted my life. I don't know if I would love football as much as I love football without Benfica and Ronaldinho, right? Like those two things made me love football more than anything, right? It's just the way I, I, I love the sport so much. So for me, is Messi and Ronaldo better than him and achieved more than him? Probably, yeah. But the GOAT for me is him because the way he made me love football. So, anyways, I can't drop Dingo for Neymar. Um, I, I, so, I guess Martinelli. But, again, Neymar is going to be off chemistry. We'll get there. We'll talk about it when we finally do get there. Uh, but let's go to the striker position. All right, let's get it done, bro. I know a lot of y'all are probably going to be like, it has to be, right? It just, come on, man. Team of the year, R9. We got him loaned, bro, and... I just want to have a lot of fun with him, bro. He looks so sick, bro. So we're going to be rocking out with R9, potentially the greatest number nine to ever play. I don't know. Personally, listen, I don't know. But if he didn't take that knee injury, could he have gone down as the greatest over Messi and Ronaldo? I think the argument could be made, yes. I think you can really think about it. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying because we never know how he would have performed if he never took the knee injury. But a lot of people think that he could have been the greatest ever if he never took the knee injury, but he is going to be right there beside Ronaldinho. And like I said, it starts to become a lot of the past and not that much of the present because we got to go with a 95 rated Pele. Like Pele has to be in the greatest past and present Brazil team, right? It just has to be. Um, so the, the one of the greatest to ever do it, Pelito has to be there. And he is. It's Ronaldo. It's Ronaldinho. It's uh, uh, Pelito. And Martinelli just seems so out of place. He does, bro. Like, when you say those names, can you follow up with Martinelli? I think you could follow up more with Ronaldo or Garincha or Jarzingo or Rivaldo, but I can't get Neymar in, bro. I mean, we could go Garincha over Jarzingo, but it's too much of the past. We got to have some present, right? We just have to because the next cam that's going to come in is one of the greatest AC Milan players ever, bro. Kaká, man, what a guy, bro. Another one that took injuries. And if he didn't take the injury to his hamstring, what would he have been? What would his days at Real Madrid been like if he never took the hamstring injury, bro? Um, again, another unbelievable stud. Like, these are my favorite players, right? But at the same time, I did want to get some present players in now I have this conversation i want to talk to you about in the comments get in there let me know is this past and present so much leading to the past because brazil is not in the best place we'll look at some brazilian players in a minute after i throw the last player in who again we could have went with uh, uh dwellington or or, or or bruno Guimarães, uh fred but we're just gonna go ahead with the boy zico and end off the past and present like that ladies and gentlemen this is the starting 11 for the past and present we only have four present and the rest are past. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about it. Obviously, there's Jarzinho. When you talk about the present Brazilian players, um, you have great ones like Gabriel Jesus, and you have great ones like Richarlson and, and, and Thiago Silva, and the list goes on. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull up so we can look at all of them. Um, there's a lot of special Brazilian players, Willian, stuff like that, but... Brazil has such a beautiful historic team from back in the day that it's hard for present players to slide in, in my opinion. Like Rodrigo could have been a sick right mid. Um, maybe Talishka could make it. Definitely Marquinhos can make it. Ramirez from the past as well. What a card, what a player. Um, but that's why there are so many present players because not that the Brazilian team now is bad. It's not. It's just so the old one is so historic, right? So we're going to be in a 4-3-2-1, which means we are going to have... Um, 
We're going to have Dingo, Pele, and R9 up top, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to have Zico, Kaká, and Martinelli. It's definitely no defensive mids. Let's be honest with each other here, bro. It's not. No one's really no one's really D'ing up, man. It's, it's, it's really just attack and pray. Uh, but we have Ronaldo, Dingo, R9, Pele, Zico, Kaká, uh, Martinelli, Eder Militao, Lucio, Caf Cafu, and Roberto Carlos. How many, how many games do you think I could win? with a team that's not really that defensive, bro. It's just kind of all go forward. I think we could win a lot, and I'm excited to jump into some games to see how it plays. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brazil past and present. How are we doing this first game? Ooh, Lucio and VVD, he got a nice team. He got a nice team, but we have R9. We got to go crazy, man. How the heck will we pair up against this opponent here? Play D, play D, there it is. No, 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 play D. The one thing I will say is I am just not sure if this midfield is good enough to win games. I know offensively we should be able to cook, but defensively, the midfield, are we strong enough? Are we good enough to be able to hold games? I'm not sure. This is crazy, man. I thought I built a remarkable team, but... I cannot really attack with this thing, lads. Like, it is pretty bad going forward. I'm not sure if it's the lack of offense or the lack of a midfield. But it is very, very complicated right now to get forward with this team. It's like a, it feels very individual. Not a lot of team play going forward. I could have R9. Ball rolls. R9 shoots it into the back of the net. Ladies and gentlemen, R9. But why? But why does the team not feel so good as it looks on paper? I don't know. There's something about the team that really, really doesn't make me feel that great offensively. I give it to Dingo. He shoots and we score. Wait a minute. Did we find our mojo? Did we find it? Did we finally come to terms of how to play? With I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we got to keep cooking. We got to keep cooking, lads. We're doing something special. Come on. No. No. Again, just straight through the... I felt it. I felt it, boys. Right when right when he started getting that momentum forward, I didn't feel like I could do anything to stop him. Man, our midfield kind of stinky. Maybe we should have went with like a Casemiro. R9. R9 shoots, misses. Ooh, a good chance there. A very, very good chance. Who do I got? I'm not going to cross this with Ether, am I? I guess I am. Pelé! He misses! He went for the wild finish and missed it. Pelé, big steal. Oh, I should have had that. Martinelli does have it. And now it's R9. And now it's R9 in the box. Shoots! Another save. Another huge save. Lads, I got to be honest with you, bro. This could be one of the worst teams I've ever built. Honestly, it could be one of the worst teams I've ever built, but it's so nice on paper. Come on, Kafu. We need something here, lad. Kafu, Pele, Pele to Dingo. Dingo into the box. Dingo shoots. Let's go, Ronaldinho. He's been a super, I mean, he is a superstar, but he's been a real superstar for us today, man. He's been involved in every game we've played. He's been really, really good. I love it. Zico, R9, good turn, good shot. No, I missed. Pele staying with it. Back to my boy Cafu. Now to Rafinha. Rafinha trying to do something. Rafinha, 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 Rafinha. Ah, I'm trying to go with that Jogo Bonito, but it didn't work, bro. That's a pen. Oh, I just gave away a penalty with Eder Militao, dude. No game. No, no. Ederson, come on. Ederson, come on, come on, come on. Ederson, let's go. Ederson, big save, bro. Huge save, Ederson. Dale Pele, dale Pele, dale Pele. Vamos, Pele. VVD chasing me down. Pelito in there. Que golazo de Pelitos. Ooh. Come on, man. Gracias a Gil. So do Brazil. Come on, man. Hey, big win. Interesting game. So after a few games, I must say, I officially know why I'm a YouTuber and not a manager. This team was amazing to look at. It sucked in game. This team needed a Ramirez or a Casemiro, some type of a midfield. Bro, you can't be going out there with a player with 62 defending and another player at 48 defending as your midfield. Uh, that's just never going to work. And I was kind of hoping I could just outscore opponents so bad that I wouldn't lose any games. That didn't work. 
Also, by the way, I was massively disappointed with this R9 card. I thought he was going to be a little bit more special up top. If anything, I had a lot more fun with Dingo. Dingo was able to score way more goals. So at the end of the day, it's a good team to look at. It's a beautiful team to stare at. It's a it's it, it's awesome. But on the field, it did not just it did not play well. So this historic, amazing, insane Brazilian team just didn't play the way I thought it would. I'm telling you, Ramirez, Casemiro, those players were needed. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what team we should do next. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.